Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are doing a manga haul. In this one, if you guys are interested in seeing how I picked out these manga, this is actually my Write Stuff Online Shopping With Me video. These are all the ones that I got from that video. So if you guys are interested, definitely go check it out right here over there. But yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. It's been a while since I've had a Write Stuff package and I wish I could have bought more, honestly, during their birthday anniversary sale. But you know what, it's okay. There's always next year. Without further ado, let's open up these three packages. So let's first open up this package right here. Hey y'all, I'm already so, so excited. The first volume I see here is Love Sick Ellie and this looks so, so adorable. So this is volume two. So hopefully we have some of the other volumes later on in this haul. So guys, to be honest, one of the main reasons why I picked this series up was because of the really great reviews and also because of the covers. They just look so, so cute. So to anybody who has read the series, let me know what you guys think, but without spoilers, please, down in the comments below. The art looks so adorable. Not gonna scroll too much, just because I'm afraid of spoiling myself. So that's Lovesick Ellie, volume two, and I can't wait to let you guys know what I think about this series. Next up we have Golden Japanesque, A Splendid Yokohama Romance. And this looks so, so pretty, and it also had amazing reviews. But I haven't heard too much about this series. I've heard some about Lovesick Ellie, but for this series, I haven't heard as much about it. So this is volume four. Cover looks so, so gorgeous. And the art looks really, really pretty too. I know this author from somewhere, Kaho Miyasaka. Her art looks so familiar, but I'll let you guys know in text over here where I know her from. I just, the eyes are so distinctive. So pulling out the next one, this is volume one of Golden Japanesque. And these covers are just so gorgeous. Again, Golden Japanesque is a historical romance, I believe, and it revolves around Maria, our main character, and also a male character, obviously, who looks like that. Originally, this girl feels really not confident and she doesn't believe in her appearance and she just wishes she could look different. Then she meets this guy who sees her beauty. So I'm so, so excited to get started on this. There's volume one and then here's volume four. The next volume is Lovesick Ellie, volume three. And the next volume is also Lovesick Ellie and this is volume one. So Lovesick Ellie revolves around this girl who's from everybody else's perspective. She just looks like a normal high school girl, but she has an online persona called Lovesick Ellie. And she tweets a lot of things on here and also expresses herself very wildly, um, very different to how she appears in class. And so a lot of her tweets revolve around this one really handsome guy in her class. Yeah, <laughs> I think you guys can guess where it goes from there. This is supposedly a very comedic shoujo series, so I'm really, really excited. I love, love comedic shoujo series. There's a little bit of the art, there's the male main character, and there's the female main character, Lovesick Ellie. I can already tell this is gonna be a great ride. There we go, we have three volumes of Lovesick Ellie. And the last volume of this package is Golden Japanesque Volume 5. This is looking like a really interesting romance series. So we have these couple volumes, Volumes 1, 2, and 3 of Lovesick Ellie, and Volumes 1, 4, and 5 of Golden Japanesque. So let's move on to our next packages. All right, so this is our next package, and this one I'm really, really excited for. So this is Visions of a Lotus Flower Volume 1 by Jem. The story is by Jem and the art is by Keiko Nakamura and the cover illustration is by Saika. So Visions of a Lotus Flower is a psychological horror series with a lot of drama and this is Jem's debut and it's looking great so far. So I'm going to go read this and I'll actually come back and tell you guys what I think of this. So it's a little novel review and you guys will hear my thoughts in two seconds. All right guys, I wanna take a quick moment to thank Jem, our sponsor of this video. So Visions of a Lotus Flower is a psychological horror series that revolves around teenagers in high school in Japan and their lives. So our story revolves around our main character, Owari, and he is a high schooler and he has two best friends, Ayama and Asa, but Owari hasn't gone to school in a while because he's just had his own problems and he just doesn't feel like going to school. Owari is a very strong-minded person and so he has a lot of opinions and thoughts about the world and how people should act and things like that. So it's really interesting to see how he thinks in here. And the other main character we have in here her name is Mia. We have our two main characters, Owari and Mia, who are old friends who get reunited after Owari goes back to school. But during this time that Owari does go back to school, something happens. I won't 
give any spoilers, but something very terrifying happens to their town and to the characters themselves. This is a very coming of age story, I believe, um, where Mia and Awari find themselves. And so this volume actually ends on a cliffhanger and volume two will be coming out soon. And so I'm really, really excited to see where this story goes because it actually got pretty intense um, at the back of this book. I also wanted to show you guys some of the art that's inside here. Here is another one. Thought the eyeball up there was really cool. And here we have Mia, very, very interesting character. And here's another drawing that I really, really like. I think this one of Mia and this one of Ayama are my favorites. And there's also this one, which you'll learn what this means later on in the book. This was a very gripping and dramatic story. And I really loved being able to see inside the characters' minds and their feelings. I will be leaving links to the Amazon page and the authors and artists Instagram accounts in the description of the video. And also this book is exclusively being sold on Amazon as an ebook and paperback. Thanks so much again, Jem, for sending me your book and letting me read it. Without further ado, we'll get on to the next unboxing part of our video. And now let's move on to our final and largest package yet. So this is the chonky one, guys. <laughs> It's so, so pretty. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna pull this out in no particular order, but I do see Golden Japanese, so I'm just gonna pull that out for now. This is volume three. And again, the covers are just absolutely stunning and the art is stunning too. I think Miyasaka's art style really suits historical and very intricate environments and scenes. So I think this is just perfect and I'm so, so excited to start reading this. I see one more here on the side. And this is volume two. So I'm so happy to have volumes one through five so I can, you know, read this and binge this. But next up, I see some of Makoto Shinkai stories. So I'm so, so excited for those. The first one I see is the Garden of Words. So Garden of Words is just in this one volume. And so I highly recommend one shots or one volumes for beginner collectors or people who don't really know if they enjoy manga yet as well. And the first couple of pages are colored. That's always so pretty. So from reading the synopsis on the back and also the synopsis online, this is looking like a really, really great series. So based on what I read here, a high school boy that's skipping class to sketch shoe designs and a woman drinking a morning beer, they meet. And then the woman hands the high school boy a poem, but a very hard to decipher poem. So he's trying to figure out what the poem means. But Makoto Shinkai stories are always so deep and intricate and just so beautifully woven together. I can already tell this is gonna be a really beautiful story. And the next series that I got from Makoto Shinkai is She and Her Cat. And do I even need an explanation <laughs> for why I got this? This just sounds so, so cute. So again, this is by Makoto Shinkai and the art is wonderful, is looking wonderful, but this is a different artist than the other one. This is by Tsubasa Yamaguchi. But of course, we all know because this is by Makoto Shinkai, this is deeper than just a girl and her cat. This girl and her cat Chobi, they live together and this girl is just learning how to live independently and, you know, navigate life. You know, she's still young, but life is hard. Chobi and her owner, they both discover the harsh realities of life and maybe some joy. So I'm so excited to read She and Her Cat. It's looking like a gorgeous story. And then the last thing that I see by Makoto Shinkai here is Weathering With You. And so, so excited to have this. I believe I have volumes one and three. A lot of you guys know this from this beautiful, beautiful movie. So I'm not going to go too deep into this, but this is a beautiful story and beautiful art. And this is a three volume series. So also a really great introductory series to get started on, especially for collectors. I always, always love Makoto Shinkai's imagery of landscapes and scenery and the artists that collaborate with him, honestly, so good. And so the art is beautifully done here. And the next thing that I see here is actually Witch Hat Atelier. You guys know how much I love Witch Hat Atelier. I've mentioned this series in a lot of my past videos. And this was also in a couple of my What You Should Be Reading videos. So yeah, really excited to have volumes four, six, and seven. And now I believe with these three, I have volumes one all the way through seven. As you guys can see, the art is absolutely stunning. So Witch Hat Atelier, for those of you guys um, who are new to this series, it's about a very fantasy world and about magic and witches, but it's a pretty dark world out there. It's not all, you know, butterflies and bubbles. So Witch Hat Atelier revolves around a girl 
girl who originally doesn't know magic or she doesn't she's not involved in the world of magic but then suddenly one day finds herself involved um, and there are a lot of dark forces behind the scenes getting all of this to happen and she goes on a very very exciting but dangerous and risky adventure to go find the truth behind magic behind the politics and she meets a lot of friends and mentors along the way and i just absolutely love this series art style it's so so beautiful here's one of our main characters mentors stunning stunning characters and as you can see here all of them look so so unique i absolutely love this intricate style of art and the plot is also amazing as well and this is one of the only magic or fantasy series in my collection and this really makes me want to get more so definitely go give witch hat atelier a try super excited all right next up i see Botokoi. it's just it's just popping out to me you guys i don't know why i don't have volumes three and five i believe those were just not on sale or those were out of stock so i'm gonna have to find them elsewhere myself let's just take out what i have right now i just love love these covers and there's like texture here as well and these are two in ones i believe from the japanese volumes so these are kind of chonky <laughs> so Wotokoi is very unique in the sense that this is a workplace romance and revolving around the hobby that is anime <laughs> and otaku culture um, i remember this series was very new when i first started collecting and so i just knew i had to get it so i ended up getting this series actually in japanese i did read it but it took me a really long time to get through it just because i'm still in the learning stages i'm still need a lot of work there and so i decided i wanted to collect this series in english as well since i only had the first two volumes in japanese but yeah here's with Dekoi. this is a workplace romance and it's also a comedy series and i think a lot of you guys know this series because there's also a gorgeous gorgeous anime to it with some viral songs that came out of it as well and dances highly highly recommend checking out Otokoi and the side characters are hilarious as well and I think it's pretty rare to find a workplace manga nowadays so yeah that's why I'm so intrigued by this so this is volume one and then I have volume two right here and I absolutely adore these side characters so much I believe I have some merch from them too and then I have volume four right here and then volume six I don't know why this one is so tiny, but <laughs> yeah, so there's Wotokoi, Love is Hard for Otaku. The next thing that's popping up to me is Blue Period. And you guys, I've wanted to watch the Blue Period anime for so, so long, but I don't know if I should. Do you guys recommend me to watch the anime first or to read the manga first? You guys let me know down in the comments. But yeah, I decided to pick up this series because I've heard it's really good. And being in Asia for the past two months, Blue Period has also been a really big hit. And as you can kind of tell, <laughs> this series revolves around art. I don't know in what aspect if it's more of a bakuman aspect where it's like educational or it's a bit more out there I, I don't know i have no idea what to expect it's looking really really fascinating so far so everything takes place in a school and you see them pulling out the art easels i'm so so excited to try this out definitely let me know if you guys think the anime or the manga which one i should read or enjoy first and i also got volume two i love taking a look at these covers it's gorgeous for some reason, this is reminding me of a shoujo series that also revolves around art. I don't remember what it was called, but it was also around art. And then I have volume three. Wow, this looks really gorgeous. And then we have volume four. All right, the last series that's in this haul is 20th Century Boys. And I've also wanted this series for so, so long. And I'm so excited to finally get my hands on it. So 20th Century Boys is by Naoki Urusawa, who is the same iconic mangaka as Monster, which a lot of you guys may know. 20th Century Boys is another psychological horror series and it is historical as well. And this definitely classifies as a seinen series. And so this one revolves around, um, as you can tell by the name, the 20th century or rather the end of the 20th century. So I've just heard so, so many people People say such great things about this series. I know this is a lot of people's favorite series and of course you can't go wrong with Naoki Urusawa's art style. Take a look at it, it's just very nostalgic looking but also a little bit unsettling at times. And so here's a quick synopsis of this story because I'm also new to this series as well. So Kenji Endo, who is the main character of the series, he's just a normal convenience store manager but then he hears the news that one of his old friends named Donkey 
he has suddenly committed suicide. And then he also hears of a notorious cult um, and that is being led by a figure named Friend. And so Kenji realizes something isn't really right. And so he decides to start looking a little bit deeper and dig deeper into, you know, the situation. And so Kenji Endo comes together with his childhood friends to figure out, you know, what's going on with the 20th century. But yeah, these volumes are just so pretty. And but yeah, this art right here is raised. I just love these beautiful covers and also really excited to get started on this story as well. And this is volume two and we have volume three. Last but not least, we have volume four. But this series is longer than four volumes. I just decided to get the first four volumes to give it a go. Yeah, there's 20th Century Boys. All right, guys, so this is my entire haul for this video. And I've got so many new series I'm so excited to try. And I'm also so excited I've gotten more volumes of Witch Hat Atelier and also Weathering With You to continue. Anyways, I'm so, so content with this haul. And now that I'm back in the US and planning on reading more, hopefully I'll be doing more hauls in the future as well. Thank you guys so much again for this video. And yeah, I know a lot of people have school starting soon. I know my school starting soon, actually tomorrow. So yeah, a little bit nervous, a little bit excited, but I hope you guys are excited as well and i'll see you guys in my next video bye